What is this? Drifting in SLRR? Yes, Drifting in SLRR has returned to the channel, but with a special twist. Now that I have the G29 sim rig set up, if you've not seen the video, it's quite good, or at least I don't, if it is, I don't know. Right, so I spent well over an hour trying to set up the wheel to work, and well, it kind of worked. So, first off, this car, uh, I've not made it. I'm pretty sure this is a Vlad, Vlad's car, like Vlad made this car at some point, uh, because I've not made it. And when I played it with the controller, it was very nice. But now that it's not with the controller, uh, it's not as good. But that's because the game just kind of doesn't work. I'm going to show you now. Let's go to the good old Shinjuku. Now, if we go into options, advanced settings, first off, you need to lower this way down low, but it doesn't save. So you need to, every time you need to lower it because a real force feedback strength, uh, there is no such thing in this game. So if you look at the throttle, I am pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Oh, and there it goes. The throttle starts working halfway down the, the pedal troll. So essentially the game is pretty shit <laughs> and it's very hard to control the car with the throttle because the game, well, it's half of the throttle just does not do anything. So let's try some drifting in SLR with the broken throttle plus with the little camera. That's right, we've got two twin cameras. So this shit, this is pretty straightforward SLR. You know, you got understeer, you have no braking, but the issue genuinely is the lack of throttle control. Because you know you can initiate, okay, and then you fail the initiation, right? But you initiate, but you want to throw the control the throttle. You know, you want to control the slide, but the game just does not have like the capabilities of controlling the slide. Otherwise, it's somewhat fun actually, but it is very hard without throttle control. Plus, there is some weird force feedback settings that just cannot be fixed, where it just kind of locks in, it locks you into a drift. Also, e brake, of course, does nothing in this game. E brake has no power. Third gear is good, you kind of throw it in here. There you go. I'll try and uh, you know show you on the the camera. It just it just locks your your wheel in. It doesn't allow you to continue. Uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, Vlad. This is your car. And there is some ridiculous force feedback once you get to some lead, uh, uh, to some level of angle, and it just doesn't allow you to recover. There we go. There he goes. So basically, you need to watch out with the angle as well. an unfortunate hit let's throw on three laps let's see if we can do these three laps you know somewhat okay Great. No? okay oh, it's just so awful the, the force feedback is just so bad in this game I don't know what to do about it, dude. It just works, works, and then suddenly stops working. Look at it, why does it do it? I don't know if, if the camera can catch it, it just suddenly locks up and doesn't allow you to, you know, turn back. You, there, there's, there are two force feedback settings, but you can't really modify one of them because one of them just crashes the game, so. Like
like this is not how cars work. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try zero force feedback. Will this feet fix the issue? Yes, I think it does. Okay, that's much better. That's much, much better. Now you can actually flick the car left or right. I'm talking about the throttle still I played around with the throttle settings couldn't really get them correct oh why did it oh I shifted into fourth gear okay this poor skyline dude this poor skyline absolutely monged Somewhat getting there, somewhat getting there, honestly. Okay, okay. To the floor, foot flat to the floor. Ah, now we need a bit more finesse, though. Oh, I just killed the engine. Right, after I fixed the buggy force feedback, it's not that bad. Dude, I was going so, so smooth, but, you know, ending the drift in a wall uh, directly in a column is not the, the smoothest thing out there. Honestly, the hardest part is mastering the buggy, the buggy throttle currently. That's, that's what, that's what I'm lacking. Dude, that was that was a good save. Again, the same pillar, dude. What the fuck? I was on a good, good streak there. Okay, another pillar. I am the pillar man, apparently. I don't know what I just did. Damn. 
Damn, okay, that was good, that was good. Not gonna lie, that was bad. That was good. <laughs> Proximity. This engine only exists for one lap, it seems. Let's try Nico. I used to race on Nico as well, if you guys remember. Okay. Oh. Actually, I have no idea where I am at Nico. Yeah, okay. right now. bad not bad at all if you ask me thanks for watching this drifting and slr video the return the return of that drifting slr video honestly if you guys enjoy this i will do more it kind of got better and better the more i was drifting if you guys have any good car setups on injected 1.4.6 or 1.4.5 i'm actually i would actually like to try them so yeah thanks for watching